welcome to your daily connection to God and His Word. Look out there, doctor. Hey, hey, I, I, hey that he made me <laughs> <laughs> Well, sir, you know what day of the week it is. Yes, I sure do. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get in position right here. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, shoot. It's a marvelous Monday. <laughs> to be starting this week, this Monday morning off, rather than it being a manic Monday, we're calling it a marvelous Monday. And BD, he got it right. It's because we know who won, who came to save us in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love. The Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way. And in so doing, he, he, he ratified the confirmed, affirmed us as royal priesthoods, chosen, God's special and chosen generation, his peculiar or special people to show forth the virtues, the excellencies, the praises of the one who called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Well, friend, that's more than just a catchy phrase and a great way to start a Monday morning. It is the truth of God and the truths of God are given to you and I to transform us such that we live not just in the moment uh, and allowing the moment to shape our perspective and outlook, but we look at things and we call them what God calls them. And uh, we, the Bible says, we having the same spirit of faith we believe and we therefore speak. Speak what? Speak what God says. Speak what we believe. Speak what we're looking for. Well, that's one of the powerful truths of a transformed life. It is to truly grasp the truth of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21, that God has made it such that life and death is in the power of our tongue. And as we love it, he says, we'll eat the fruit of it. Now, specifically, it's not just uh, name it and claim it, bab it and grab it, random things and thoughts, but it is embracing what God has promised, what he has said, knowing as is spoken in Numbers chapter 20, and verse 3 and verse 19, that God is not a man that he should lie, nor is he the son of man that he should repent. Whatever he said, that's what he's going to bring to pass. And whatever he's spoken, that's what he's going to make good on. That is such a positive and affirmative truth about uh, the true and living God. And I believe every one of us who embrace him as daddy, as father, as God, for who he is, that we come into this place of certainty, this blessed assurance, not because of our own selves, but the faithfulness of his own character and his steadfast love for us. What does that mean? It means that he is no variableness. There's no shadow of turning 
from what he has spoken and what he has said and what he has pronounced. And specifically for you and I, you and I got to know what he said about us. You see, this is what truly transforms you in life. This is how you truly renew your mind and begin to live and grow in living a transformed life. It is knowing what God has said and then remembering it every single day, allowing the Holy Spirit to help you. Here's what Jesus taught his disciples and thus us in St. John chapter 14. He says, I will send you another comforter. I will send you the spirit of truth. And when he comes to you, here's what he's going to do. He's going to remind you of whatsoever I have said unto you. Why does the Holy Spirit remind us of what Jesus said? Well, because he wants us to live continually with the truth and the acknowledgement of the truth of what he has spoken, what he has said, such that it moves beyond just words on read on a page to the actual rhema of God, specific application moment by moment, day by day in the practical every day of life, the vicissitudes of life, the ebb and flow where the rubber heats, hit, it meets the road, that we remember what our Lord and King has said. And what happens when we do that? You're making a demand on what he said. You know what I've learned to do and continue to learn is I put him in remembrance of his word. That's what he said in the, the prophet Jeremiah. Put me in remembrance of what I, why would we do that? Is that too bold, too audacious? Is that too forward with God? Absolutely not. He delights when you put him in remembrance of what he said. In fact, I would dare say that's one of the highest forms of praise of God there is. It's saying, I know what you said. I, I, I have stored it in my heart. And I believe what you said. I trust you and I trust what you said. Hey, today, let's go forth in this week, trusting, knowing what he said, trusting what he said, and allowing the Holy Spirit to make it truth and reality, rhema, in our hearts and minds as we navigate the day. And this has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Because together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love for others. That's good news on this marvelous Monday, Pete. Some things will never change. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I I mean, hey, man, I tell you what, uh, man, 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 nobody can see you like you, man. I tell you what, man, you need to throw a trademark on that uh, right there. <laughs> I tell you, hey, we appreciate the message, Pastor, and we look forward to hearing another marvelous message like that on tomorrow. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and your continued faithfulness, 54 plus years and running. Lord willing, we'll talk to you again real soon. All right, Pastor. You have a good one now. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, let's indeed. We call it a marvelous Monday. You call it a marvelous Monday. Go, let's have a marvelous Monday on purpose a whole week looking for the God's ability to do exceedingly abundantly and above and above all we can think or ask according to his power working in us. Not the, not just our power and ability to have a great week and a great day, to make it a great day and a great week, but his power working in us, unlimited, unbounded, totally and completely consistent with what he's promised and what he said as we look to him and allow his spirit to empower us. It's not by might, nor is it by power, but it's by the spirit of the Lord working in, through, in you and I. All right, well, remember this always. God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. Bye-bye for now. We'll talk to you again real soon.